Welcome to Smithville Chamber Chatter, coming to you from historic Smithville, Texas. We're here to talk about all things Smithville, including upcoming events, updates and tips for and about local businesses, important news, election updates, and more. Brought to you by the Smithville Area Chamber of Commerce, I'm your host, April Daniels. Welcome to our podcast. Good afternoon and welcome to the Smithville Area Chamber of Commerce Chamber Chatter with your host, April Daniels. We are excited to be kicking off our first Chamber Chatter podcast, sponsored by the Smithville Area Chamber of Commerce and Prosperity Bank. Our inaugural guest today is Mayor Scott Saunders. We appreciate, as always, the Mayor's willingness to answer questions and keep the people of Smithville informed. Good afternoon, Mayor Saunders, and thank you for being our first guest on the Smithville Chamber Chatter podcast. Thank you, April. It's my pleasure to be here. I really appreciate being asked to be your first guest in this inaugural Chamber Chatter podcast. I'm very excited to provide some of the latest information to all of your listeners and give them kind of a behind the scenes look at what we've been up to as far as city government is concerned and highlight some of the projects we've been working on. Well, thank you again for being here. Mr. Mayor, I know our listeners would like to hear from you today about the city's response to the coronavirus COVID-19 crisis we're all facing right now. Sure, I'll um, list out a few of the actions that the city has taken to date and um, let you know what you can expect in the future. Um, It's almost been an entire month since we issued the disaster declaration back on March 16th, 2020. Since then, life as we know it has changed drastically. We've closed public access to all city facilities and parks. All city employees are still working You can still call in, but face-to-face encounters are extremely limited. We also have closed the recycling center. I know that this is frustrating as there's a myriad of recycling piling up around my house, and I'm sure yours too. Unfortunately, it is looking like a couple more weeks before we're gonna be able to open it up and fully get things running again. We've discussed maybe opening up for one day, but the recycling center would be overwhelmed. And at this time, we have no way to process the recycling to be shipped away from the facility as the haul-away services are not running. Unfortunately, you might have to throw away some of those recycled items or try to store them for a couple more weeks. I know a lot of people are doing yard work and I encourage you to use that cardboard, paper, and things like that in your gardens. Um, Other than that, you're gonna have to make a decision on if you can hold on to it or get rid of it. We've also postponed all city appointed board meetings. However, the Planning and Zoning Committee and the City Council is still meeting regularly. We had our first official Zoom Council meeting last night. I encourage you all to go to the City Facebook page and check that out. And I'll talk more about that in a little bit later. We have modified our operating hours at City Hall from 7.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. We postponed City Council and mayoral elections until November 3rd, 2020. In May, we were supposed to have our election on May 5th for our city council members and mayor, but we've had to push that back to November 3rd. All of the places will stay the same. All of the people that are running will still be in those places. It's not gonna open back up for people to register. Everyone is locked in. It's just not gonna happen until November 3rd for the election. We've also waived the $4 credit card processing fee for all utility customers so to make it easier on you to pay online. We've, late, we've waived late fees for all payments during the disaster declaration. And no city of Smithville utility customers will be disconnected during the disaster declaration. We've also added 80 hours of sick time to our regular full-time employees account and 40 hours for part-time employees. This way, if an employee needs to stay home because they're sick, it'll be okay. They'll have the sick leave that they need in order to stay safe at home and get better so that they can come back to work. We've also offered assistance to small business owners to help them navigate the SBA loan process. We've issued and adopted a stay at home order. We've issued a face covering order. Robert, Jack, Assistant Chief Repka, and myself in April, I know you have too. We've all been meeting daily with the county operations for emergency management. This consists of multiple meetings throughout the day. And this has been going on for over five weeks now. What can the citizens do to help? Stay at home, practice social distancing, wash your hands, and disinfect surfaces are all things that the citizens can do to make a difference. 
This is a fight that we can win if everyone does their part. This is something that we do in addition to keeping the street safe, the water running, the toilet flushing, and the power on. Please do your part. Stay home and stay safe. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As you know, our Smithville businesses are suffering right now. Retail sales are severely curtailed with many stores closed completely. Restaurants are restricted to takeout, curbside, and delivery only. What would you say to our businesses as we make our way through this crisis? Firstly, I wanna say that every single business within the city of Smithville is appreciated and unique. You're a part of what makes Smithville such a special place. April and I know that it goes against every fiber of our being to say, stay home, when we're usually saying, go out, enjoy Smithville, shop local. But even though you can't be at these locations in person, you can still get there online. April, the website you and your team developed, shopinsmithville.com, is phenomenal. It really is like a virtual Main Street Market. I encourage everyone to take a virtual tour and visit some of your favorite locations. I would like to remind all business owners within the city of Smithville of the unique opportunity you have to use the city resources. We have a superstar at City Hall that goes by the name of Jill Struby. She'll, she'll be happy to help you navigate the SBA loan process. In April, I know you're helping with these too. I also wanna encourage all business owners to strengthen your online presence. People are home, checking Facebook, Nextdoor, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter. I encourage you to leverage yourself over all of these platforms and let your potential customers know what you're doing, that you are still here, what you have to offer, and why they should come and visit you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and I appreciate your kind words. Again, if you did not hear the name of that uh, website that we've put up, it's an online shopping guide, uh, shopinsmithville.com. Be sure to go on there and check out all the wonderful restaurants and stores we have right here in Smithville. I wanna take just a moment to thank the sponsor of today's podcast, Prosperity Bank. Thank you for supporting our podcast today. Mr. Mayor, I would ask you to speak a little bit about projects or important updates the city is working on or planning over the next year for Smithville to give us all something to look forward to. As you know, there's never any rest for the weary and we have multiple projects the city has scheduled that we're actively supporting. First off, the citywide water tower ground storage tank rehab. This has started. This is a facelift of every single water tower in Smithville. They will all be rehabilitated from the ground up. The 4th Avenue Bridge demolition and rebuild. This is the bridge for getting up on the hill. Trust me, we want this job completed just as much as you do. The project is on schedule and should start next week on April 20th. We also have the Highway 95 expansion. As you may know, we intend to expand Highway 95 from Gasly by the rec center all the way to the new high school and junior high. This will be a multiple lane, turning lane, sidewalk, street light project. It is expected to start January 2021. We are starting another TxDOT Safe Routes to School project. It's a sidewalks project. That's gonna start May 2021. We also have the Marburger drainage improvement phase one. This has already started over, over by Apple Lumber uh, where the railroad tracks are. We have phase two of that project that will start on May 18th. We're about to start with a seal coat and a restriping of Main Street and Second Street here in Smithville. And that will also happen on May 18th. And then April, I know that we're ready, willing, and excited about the rebuild of the Chamber of Commerce, Visitor Center, and Railroad Museum. However, that date is still to be determined. <laughs> um, we also have the warehouse detention pond. This is an actual detention pond that we're going to dig behind the city warehouse, and it will, should help alleviate a lot of the flooding that's happening along the MLK Road. And now this next one just happened last night, and I'm very excited about it. This was passed by city council last night and it will go into effect on May 1st. It's the PHI Air Medical Agreement. Now anyone in Smithville will be able to get a free ride in the emergency PHI helicopter if it's needed. You no longer have to worry about that expensive emergency helicopter bill. It's covered. 
these are all projects that the city is supporting above and beyond what it takes to keep the city running. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I will say on behalf of the citizens of Smithville, the air ambulance option is a great perk for our community. That's very exciting to hear about. And if you're interested in hearing some more details about that, go check out the city council meeting that just happened uh, last night, Monday night. Uh, and you can see that by going to the, the city of Smithville's Facebook page and they give you lots of details about that. Finally, Mr. Mayor, the city of Smithville and the Smithville Area Chamber of Commerce try hard to work together to promote our community and our businesses. Can you talk a little bit about your work with the chamber and your thoughts on business recovery for our community? Well, as an ex-officio member of the chamber board, as mayor and as a small business owner myself, I have a unique opportunity to see all aspects of the Smithville Area Chamber of Commerce. I have never seen a harder working group of people Every person cares deeply for our community. I have seen some great things by our citizens in Smithville with support of local businesses. I know that the economists say that over 44% of small businesses will not make it back when this is over. I feel like this number will be much lower here in Smithville. When times get hard and disaster strikes, I know that's when our community can shine the brightest. Please business owners, reach out and let us know what we can do to help you. The City of Smithville and the Smithville Area Chamber of Commerce are behind you. Let us help you. Let us give back where we can, as you're always there with smiling faces and happy places when we need you. It gives me great pride in knowing that our chamber isn't just celebrated locally, but statewide and nationwide. Just last year, the chamber received an award from the Texas Downtown Association, highlighting the partnership between the city and the chamber. And that partnership is truly phenomenal. I truly feel that the success and prosperity, the hometown look and charm, the friendly neighborhood spirit, and the passion and compassion for our community is directly correlated between the relationship the city and chamber have. This is exemplified by giving the nature of all the volunteers and workers in both the chamber and city organization. We are blessed to be part of this community, and I'm thankful daily for the honor of serving as mayor of my hometown that also just happens to be one of the greatest places in America. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. These last few weeks have been rough. I have cried, I've been angry, been scared, been confused, but I've also had more time with family. I've laughed and I've held on to hope. Hope is so powerful. And as we know, hope floats in Smithville, Texas. It is said that beginnings are scary, endings are usually sad, but it's the middle that counts the most. Try to remember that when you find yourself at a new beginning, just give hope a chance to float up, and it will. All my hope goes out to all of you. I wanna thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for everything that you do for this community, and thank you all for being so absolutely amazing. Thank you, Mayor Saunders. And thank you for appearing with us today for our inaugural Smithville Chamber Chatter podcast. We invite our listeners to join us next week when our guests will be Adina Lewis with Bastrop County Tourism and Economic Development, Becky Wamba with the Bastrop Chamber of Commerce, and Gina Carter with the Elgin Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much, Mayor Saunders, again. We really appreciate your time. And you're welcome. Thank you, April, for everything that you do every single day. Thank you for listening to Smithville Chamber Chatter with your host, April Daniels. If you'd like to be a guest, email us at april.daniels at smithvilletx.org. Between now and our next episode, be sure to check out the Chamber's website at www.smithvilletx.org. Until then, we'll see you on Main Street. <laughs>